actually, uh, Gangnam Style was my Halloween costume. And I actually had to get up on stage at a company meeting and do a little bit of it. Not, not tonight. I wanted to thank you. Uh, on behalf of everyone at YouTube, we are really, really proud to receive the News Innovation Award. We are an unusual recipient because we're not journalists, but we are news junkies. In fact, the face blurring technology that you just watched was created by one of our engineers in his 20% time. So thank you to the ICFJ for recognizing him and all of us at YouTube in the way that you have. I'm going to next cover what YouTube has done, what YouTube is doing, and what YouTube cannot do as it relates to news. I'm going to try to do this in less time than the average YouTube video. And since the average YouTube video is thought to always involve a cat or a dog or a baby, uh, I've invited uh, two business associates to join me on stage today. This is Chad, and this is Steve. <laughs> so now you've got the full, complete YouTube experience. The video we watched earlier does a great job of highlighting and explaining how innovation online video has helped transform the news space. Every day on YouTube, 7,000 hours of news-related video is uploaded. Through these videos, people have immediate and unfiltered information about what's happening on the ground, like when Hurricane Sandy hit last month and a YouTube user captured on video the explosion of an electrical substation. Through these videos, information is reaching more corners of the world. Our new live streaming technologies mean that a national broadcaster, in this case ABC News, can go and become international, in this case by live streaming the presidential debates to more than 200 countries and territories. And through these videos, farther corners of the world are able to reach us. In Syria, uncredentialed anonymous reporters have risked and lost their lives to provide coverage for events never before witnessed on the global scene. Other countries have long had the opportunity to hear what the US thinks of the world policy and issues, and now we get a better chance to hear theirs. So that's the good news on online video, but here's the bad. Now that anyone can instantly link, embed, tweet, retweet, post, comment, and upload, we are flooded with often recycled news and information. So we at YouTube don't think for one minute that we're simplifying the challenge of journalism. It's more that we're changing the nature of it. As the flow of information increases, much of it on our own platform, we recognize that the work of the people in this room is more important than ever. We need you to provide the analysis and context that only people that have dedicated their lives to this craft can provide. And our viewers count on it. But there are a few things that YouTube can do to help surface the best content. Recently, we've been reorganizing the site around channels so that people can more easily follow names that they recognize and trust, like a CNN or a Washington Post. We're adding auto captioning so that the work of these journalists and news organizations can instantly be translated into dozens of languages so that stories like the journalism behind Watergate can be an example and be seen and understood by all. And we're helping news organizations go multimedia by partnering with organizations like the New York Times and the Associated Press. In summary, as the, ICF, as the ICFJ recognizes YouTube's contributions to news, we at YouTube want to recognize and support the work that you do. We are proud to have built a platform where the world shares this video. But we are really, really thankful to have you to help us make sense of it all. Thank you very much for this award.